Bag one. Help me find that woman there, the black. Help me find her. Please share that video here. Whole heap of time share that video here. Please and thanks. The lady here come in and she steal the girl in the brown iPhone X. Alright? So she should put on the bag over the phone there, right? When she put on the bag over the phone, the lady I go walk away. See she walk away there now. After she walk away you now, see she hold the phone there underneath the bag. And then once the girl gone now, you go see she take up the bag. All the pieces stick. When Miss Chin used to party the goods them, all the sticky woman teeth to blows and skirt. See woman gone with the phone there you now and I bag. Please share people, share. back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. You cannot expect someone to love you all you want when you haven't committed to your well-being. You are responsible for creating clarity with how you give and receive love. The best way to improve your belief about love is through a constant practice of self-care and self-compassion. Don't let a poorly executed chapter taint your entire love story. Real love requires patience and work. You deserve the love you give. Always remember that. What go on, my people? Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. Me say, people, I wake up and I see a wonderful morning. Me say, me eye open, me sneeze. Yes, I'm the holy pa, holy pa, holy pa, like a same thing. But guess what? Above all, I am happy to be alive. You understand? Me happy, happy, happy to be alive. That's why I always tell you, know, get up and find myself alive. Yet another morning, Friday morning to be exact. How is the weather on your end? How is the weather on your end? You understand? Every day above ground is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living. And surely, surely, surely not amongst the dead. I stop and me ask myself a question. Where did it all went wrong? Ask yourself that question then this morning. Which party really go wrong? Because I know, me no know. Some people are going to say a labor right cause it. Some people are going to say a PMP cause it. But guess what me know? All of we cause it. You understand? Remember, not very long ago, when them normally say, kids are safe. So leave the kids out of man and woman's story. Long gone are those days. Long gone are those days. Come in one know what a little eight year old could have done for the kid that was like, who never hear about this? Let me tell you what I'm going for, what I'm going for this one here. The police are trying to determine circumstances which led to the abduction and attempted murder of an eight year old girl. She was abducted from the Britain Primary School in Portmore St. Catherine yesterday afternoon with the amount of rain we have fall. Them find them time to go take away this little pit near. Reported that a girl throat was slashed and she was thrown from a vehicle along Roosevelt Avenue in St. Andrew Central Police Division. Investigators said the child was seen walking along the busy thoroughfare. She bumped into a vehicle and the driver made an inquiry. The motorist realized that the girl had a wound to her neck and rushed her to the Bustamante Children's Hospital where she underwent surgery. Big up a driver, they understand. Big up a driver, they of people see her and drive past her, still let me tell the truth, you know. But big up the driver there, who did decide to stop? Yeah, man, people are serious, serious. Time we live in here, you know. Nobody knows safe about here, you know. But anyway. It really begs the question as to what happened. Is this someone who knew this little girl? Is this a stranger? And really what's behind it? And so it's early days yet. At this point, I think we're all focused on the little girl and how traumatizing this must be for her family. And um, really just to see if, you know, we can use this as an opportunity to appeal to anyone who saw anything, heard anything, to see if they can help us put the pieces of the puzzle together. Anyways, we can continue with the news. Two men had been charged with murder, wounding with intent and several other offences after a man was killed during an incident on Main Street Highgate in St. Mary last month. Charged are 
30 year old to Shane Gentles, a vendor of Q Lane and 37 year old Rowan Gard, otherwise called Rugo. Remember, we did tell you about them people, a truck driver of Linton Crescent, both in Kingston. Both men have been also slapped with other charges, including possession of a permitted weapon, unauthorized possession of ammunition, and the use of a firearm to commit a felony. The deceased has been identified as 39 year old Shelton Watson, a vendor of Vincent in Highgate, St. Mary. Report reaching our news team that about 3 20 pm, citizen heard an explosion and summoned the police. Upon arrival, Watson and another man were seen lying in a pool of blood with gunshot wound. Both men were taken to the hospital where Watson succumbs to his injury whilst undergoing treatment. He never did pass, but he never did dead pass, but me did tell no, but of people never believe me. The other men were treated and released. Gentles and Gunn were arrested on June 6 and were subsequently charged after an interview. Ah, slap them, did forget slap them. Don't come and tell man about to charge them. Hold on a bit now from the other day, I see the JDF. Van them just a lick down. Beer people and a mash up. Beer us. And I go and warn all the passing thing. A man was rushed to the hospital on Thursday evening after he reported it from the sidewalk. Hear the keyword? Sidewalk. And was run over by the Jamaica Defense Force vehicle in Augustown, St. Andrew. Member, member, good. Good people in Augustown, they understand. Good people amongst the rebels. Something. The soldier them the destined for lick down somebody up there. Don't feel like a lie, may I tell. Residents who reportedly caught the incident on video said they had previously warned the lawmen of the fast driving in the community. Boy, we are asked the man to take out the man, the man, them not take out the man. See the man there? Community people are trying to assist, and all know we cannot get any help, no farmer help. Me tell the man himself to slow down the mad drive too. Just to tell the man himself to take time drive too much mad driving in the community, brother. Too much mad driving. The jeep lick down the youth off of the bank inside and run over him. Pretty like this. Over, over. 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 Yes, people, them now are uh, here. You understand the old dirty soldier boy, them do uh, want here drive fast in the people, them community. But anyway, more news. 40 year old Mark Brown, who stabbed a man to death six years ago, was found guilty of murder. He will be sentenced on July 28th. The Crown led evidence that in 2017, Brown and Clive Spencer, a 34 year old laborer of Brayton in Portmore St. Catherine, were at a bar in the era when they got into a dispute. Brown reported he stabbed Spencer in the abdomen and walked away. Real bad man style. Spencer was taken to Gessish Park, people. The Spanish Town Hospital. The Spanish Town Hospital. Spencer gets stabbed like that, you know, say, man, a bad man. So you know exactly what going on, go on. In Kiki Bucket. But anyway, an investigation was launched that resulted in Brown arrested and charged. Justice Bertram Morris presided over the case at the St. Catherine Circuit Court. I let him let out this boy and make the youth family deal with him. You understand? Then who and him head? I'm speaking of who and head. Lizard dead, you know, people? No, man. I'm not a lizard. Way. Can't tell them get rid of. No, man. A different lizard this now. Let me tell you that story. They go. A man was killed and a woman shot and injured while they work at a house in Stony St. Andrew Thursday afternoon. The dead man has been identified as 30 year old Ricardo Johnson, otherwise called a lizard, a resident of Lacey District in Cavalier St. Andrew. The injured woman is 54 year old. It's reported around 3 20 p.m. The two were working inside a concrete structure under repair when two men, yes, two armed men with handgun enter. The police said the man fired a shot hitting Johnson all over his upper body. The woman was hit in the left eye and the right side of her face. Headshot that, you know, the gunman then made their escape on foot in the area, the police said. Upon the arrival of the authorities, Johnson was seen motionless, dead, 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 lying in a pool of his own blood. And nobody blood was lying on her thin blood. The woman was assisted by motors to the hospital where she is admitted in stable condition. No motive has been established for the attack. The boy they know exactly him get himself in you know? He understand. Him know we mix up with but guess you know? Dead man tell no tale. Dead man tell no tale. Make a good update now, pan update, pan tap an update. The youth, yeah, the youth they be kidnapped of a poor boy. 
Me can tell you where him name. Him name Delano Brown. And him a 22 year old. And him come from Gregory Park. You understand? I wonder if you remember the story. If you remember the story, I can just refresh your memory there. Just a little bit. The police said a male who is Delano Brown and a female was abducted from their Gregory Park home in Portmore at gunpoint. Remember, remember, good now in the name gunpoint. You understand? So now I tell the police them about going at gunpoint. Taken to the corporate area where they were forced to use the ATM card to withdraw 100,000 from different accounts. And yes, after that, they, 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 they done. The gunman then reportedly drove Brown and the female back to Portmore where they took the male from the car and shot him and dumped his body in a mangrove along the El Shamin Road. I know all of that guy already. I don't know all of that guy already because we didn't go through it. So we don't really need to go through it again. Don't it? Don't it? Alright, so we can move on. Second, then now, I see someone in the comment section and say, yo, they want to recap how it really happened. Keep back and relax, the man. I come to get that. But people come out about other news. Some of us deal a little party first. And then only can get that. Two dead now West Milan, you know. Two dead now West Milan people, you understand? One little place named Mount Pleasant, the man them kill Damien Henry. Then shot thing kill him. I saw me go so boom and go up the road me one only pa ballin. Bullet cheat to be exact. It's a guan power guan. Agent no cash and dead. Agent crash and dead people. You understand? Agent crash and dead. Dead dead. One who the people just stand up over him body attack one heap of picture. Yes, people. In cash and dead in my marina. I'm marina tear up and blood up on a bag of sin thing. So we can't follow that. Come, come look upon that. People just stand up over the body. But anyway, now, for the people them who say, if you give them a recap, me not going to do it. Me not going to do it. Maybe I don't know. Me make up and do it. The only thing me going to do, I put up a boy picture. You understand? So we can't see who they kidnap and kill. A male and a female were abducted in the Gregor Park era in the early hours of Wednesday. June 7th, 2023. Couple was robbed, and information is that the male was shot and thrown in bushes at a location that was unknown to the person who made the report. Sometime after 9 a.m. in the morning, the police, following several leads, approached a motor vehicle along the Hellshire Main Road where gunmen opened fire at the police. The fire was returned and the men sped off. One of the gunmen escaped in mangroves while another was found in the vehicle suffering from what appeared to be gunshot wounds. A number of operational activities were conducted in and around the Hellshire community in search of the gunman who escaped, but he was not found. It is not known if he had received any injuries either. Uh, during the operation, um, the body of a man believed to be that of the man who was abducted earlier was found in the mangroves along the Hellshire Road. Um, the St. Catherine South CRB continues the investigation. Or should I say robbery of motor vehicles that have been occurring in St. Catherine and uh, other areas across the island. So the investigation is in a infancy stage. But we are looking uh, because this couple was robbed of their motor vehicle and up to this time the vehicle was not 